The thing with a training plan is that it's not always straightforward. You don't always make regular improvements, and sometimes you need to work harder for them than others. <sighs> Plus, regardless of the amount of effort you put in, it doesn't always go quite as you'd hoped. My race is over. Now, I trust you're faring better, but on this week's Four Weeks of Fitness Isolation Challenge update, well, frankly, now I'm having a tough time with it. That took so much more effort than the result suggested. To be honest, I'm struggling a little bit this morning for, uh, for motivation to jump on the bike. It's often said that the hardest bit of training is getting out the front door. Now, I don't have that problem at the moment because I don't have to get out the front door. So perhaps it's this bit, sticking shoes on. But uh, anyway, gotta do the session. I'm on the start line. There's a load of people joining me. So I guess this is the unescapably good thing about having a plan is that you gotta stick to it. So I'm gonna do it. I will, honestly. Definitely will. Let's do this. Oh, crikey, that's not a good sign. <sighs> the guns do work. Turn on rubbish fan. Line up, rubbish fan. I finally found my GCN towel. I can sweat as much as I want. I can actually mop it up. Grumbling aside, this is session five then. So we're over the midpoint. Plenty of company this morning, which is great. At the minute we've got 360 on the start line and it's going up pretty fast, which is cool. But yeah, just kind of getting in the spirit of things, really. Right, here we go. Ready? Two, one, boom! I don't want to moan, but I do feel a little bit like I'm pedaling squares this morning. I just can't get comfy. I was whooping at uh, only 40% or something this morning. That's not because of physical fatigue. I had to film the GCN show yesterday with Dan Lloyd. There's only so many Cervelo Test Team stories you can listen to, and there are literally three <laughs> in this show tomorrow. This is another Kevin Poulton's clever little sessions where he's basically getting us to generate a load of lactate so that when we then go back and sit at like sub threshold we're getting a lot more work done than we would do otherwise it's quite cool he's got to commit to these little sprints early on we've got 20 seconds to go I think the group's ready and ready let's go Okay, last block now. Oh, right. That concludes two 15 minute climbs at low cadence with some sprints into the bottom of them. That's a lot of hard work in a short space of time. I've got to say, I'm loving these sessions, I really am. Even though, mentally, that was tough this morning. But, we have good days and bad days, right? And actually, I've now got six minutes to get ready for my first work call of the day. GCM presenters and creators. I'll let you into a secret, there's been some weird stuff going on. I'm gonna try and find out exactly what Hank and Connor have been doing in their respective houses. It sounds dodgy. I don't think it's that dodgy. And if it is, I don't wanna know about it, but you get the gist. Well, I'm not sure whether you could tell, but I definitely struggled yesterday morning. Um, and despite having actually a really good session, I felt knackered for the rest of the day, like properly knackered, like kind of, I don't think I should be riding my bike today, kind of knackered. Fortunately, I had a good night's sleep and I've woken up feeling a lot better 
I'm not entirely sure I'm massively up for a super hard race tonight, but uh, I think I'm going to do it anyway. Now, one job I do need to do, actually, to the bike is uh, investigate and re-grease the top of my headset. So that's that bit there. Because, um, well, as a lot of you have been pointing out in the comments, there's a lot of um, pretty salty water dripping on it. And um, I don't think it's doing it much good. So uh, this is going to be a gross job, but it should be quite fun. Okay, you ready for this? Moment of truth. Oh, that's not so bad. I'll give it a little re-grease, how about that? Hmm. Might replace that when, uh, when lockdown ends, but still. For the moment. Sorted, ready to roll. Sweat proof. It's weird how much difference a day can make. Don't feel like it's gonna put me in a box, which is great. I feel like I'm on top of things. Gotta to cook the kids dinner. Uh, and then uh, then I get to race, but all set up, ready to roll. That's my towel, keeping the bike warm. It's just, uh, so it's ready to roll. And then, uh, yeah, race time. It is warm this evening, really warm. And unfortunately, can you see that? My washing, it's gonna uh, spoil the draft. I did have a comment uh, from a viewer last week to suggest that with my sash windows, I could open top and bottom to create some kind of airflow vortex. So I'm going to do that. And then, last but not least, come on. All four and a half watts. Right then, this is Yorkshire. Harrogate, to be precise. Fun fact, I used to uh, work in an outdoor shop in Harrogate many years ago. Uh, but this is the first time I've Zwifted there. So I'm back at the Swedish Zwift Racing Cup. Um, it was mega last week. Admittedly, I did take a bit of a pacing. Less of a pacing than the week before, uh, where I lasted 16 minutes in the main group. Uh, last week, I lasted 34 minutes in the main group. So, fingers crossed, that means that this week, I will just survive with the main group. However, it's not quite that simple. Although it is seven kilometers shorter this week, uh, there is double the amount of climbing in there. And if it's anything like the real world, and I suspect it is, then, um, well, those are quite grippy little climbs. So, um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. I keep my fingers crossed. I'm still waiting on whether I've got any team support tonight. So far, Connor and James have not proven their weight. Um, and Ollie, uh, has said that he's doing a time trial instead. Which, you know, what are you gonna do with that? Not long to go now. 250 people in the group. I'm actually feeling a little bit calmer this week. Not quite sure why. I think maybe it's because I've got slightly lower expectations than before. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do this. Yeah. Final countdown now, 20 seconds to go. I'll tell you when I get below 500 watts, shall I? Here we go. Wow, it's fast again. Only 470 watts at the minute. Three minutes in, still over 400 watts. It's splitting. I hate chasing to get back on. I'm not in the lead group. been dropped from the second group. To be fair, they were going pretty briskly. I was doing 370 watts in the wheels, which I can't do after that initial first lap. Totally on my own. I've now just got to sit in and do what I can for the next 
10k. I'm about to be caught by a bit of a bunch. I can't hold any wheels at the minute. They're gonna come straight past. Here we come. Try and keep up. Finally managed to stick with the group. Woohoo! Oh man, these guys are still racing. 460 watts. Let's get this little ramp. Oh. That took so much more effort than the result suggested. Trying to hang at the shelf end and go massively into the red. And then after that, obviously you just can't, can't even hold threshold. It's not the best week of all time, this. Well, on the positive side, I still say goodnight to the kids. And I don't have to drive home from some random motor racing circuit slash disused airfield. And it's definitely done me some good in one way, shape or form. Right. That's me done for the night. Just the uh, clean up operation. Well, I thought I'd do a little bit of a debrief. I didn't want to leave you on a downer. So I had a quick look at my data and actually looking at like the power curve, so the kind of best power I've set for a certain period of time. There's actually some PBs on there today. Um, PB's not just for the last few weeks, but for the whole of this year, which is kind of cool. So uh, so I don't feel quite so demoralized. I think it is just actually quite a hard race for me at the moment. So uh, so yeah, my tw I think it was the best power I've done between about 10 minutes and about 25 minutes, um, which is definitely something to be pleased about because obviously the epic KOM time should be around 19 and a half minutes, hopefully. So, um, so the fact that I've set a PB for that duration is a positive thing. That is good. So, uh, so I'm kind of pleased actually. Um, I do feel pretty tired though. I'm not going to lie. So definitely an easy day tomorrow, and then I'll get that session done on Friday. So by the time you watch this, I'll have done it. And then uh, I'm probably going to try and have an easy weekend, if I'm honest. And then get two last quality training sessions done in the final week and another race, which I'm gonna absolutely smash. And I also, all being well, have a secret weapon up my sleeve. Oh yes, yeah. Bring out the big guns, almost literally. Uh, now, I'd love to know how you're getting on with the four weeks of fitness. So do make sure you stick, uh, stick it in the comments down below. Uh, it's been great, all the support, everyone being out on the virtual road, joining me for group workouts and stuff. It's Wicked fun, and actually this week it's been super important as well uh, for my uh, for my morale to have uh, everyone out there on the road as well. So, so yeah, thank you very much for taking part too. And uh, yeah, remember we've got uh, Tuesday and Friday mornings, 8 a.m. for the uh, the final week of four weeks of fitness. Before then, freshening up and smashing our PBs at the Epic KOM. We're nearly there.